welcome you to the day of power. Tell somebody you are in the day of power. And today also, we are starting our journey into the three mystical truths. And today we went on the first mystical truth. So mystical truth number one. The first mystical truth. The word mystical simply means direct connection with God. Direct. No intermediaries. Meeting God directly. In the story of the prodigal son, Jesus gave the story of the prodigal son who came to God direct. And then the sit-at-home son of God, who some may think as the, the good boy, he was rather going to the father through intermediaries, asking people what is happening in my father's home. And Jesus teaching us to pray, told us to pray, saying, pray to your God, saying, our father, our father. Many people have misunderstood Jesus teaching and saying that whatsoever you pray in my name shall be brought to you or shall be done unto you to mean that to pray in the name of Jesus is simply to say Jesus through Jesus Christ our Lord now it is overused until it has no meaning and in fact if Jesus meant his name then his name was never Jesus when he was alive he was never ever called Jesus till some six seven hundred years after so he never knew he was ever called Jesus. His name was Yeshua. Years ago, when I shared that the man was never called Jesus, many people were offended. And some even left the church for saying that. Today, I'm happy to hear some ministers of God now coming to this truth and saying that, yes, he was never called Jesus. The only problem we have in the theory mission is that we are world leaders and pace setters. Because the wisdom that comes through us comes from a source that is authentic. Recently, I was watching a video of uh, some of the teachings I have shared in the early 80s. And I was pleasantly surprised to notice that what we are sharing today is the same teaching happening that time when I was 22 years old. Good morning. In the early 70s, 80s, when I was 22 years old, the teaching is the same, meaning that this is authentic. It has not changed. It might have improved in its delivery, and we've gone some steps ahead on the same path. Telling us that the teacher teaching us has a real mission. So the word mystic should not come as a word that you do not want to understand. It's a word you now understand. It simply means direct connection with God. In African theology, we teach that whatever intelligent happening is occurring, and we, humanity, we depend on that intelligent happening. And we did not set it in motion. That thing is God. When I use the mobile phone, the intelligence in the mobile phone is huge. In fact, the technology within the mobile phone is much bigger than the one that took the first man to the moon. Today we hold it in our hands. But the mobile phone, I can say, some human beings came together, brought their knowledge system together, and they set it in motion. So, I may not possibly say, this is God. However, when I look into life, I see the evidence of God everywhere. Such that, in the Akan, we teach that obia and tre abofra nyami meaning no one teaches god to a child because god is self-evident must be self-evident and everyone must have his or her own direct experience of god not the experience of somebody else in african theology when we go by the definition of what god is intelligent happening that we humanity we depend on and we did not set it in motion that thing is god before you came into life the air was here without the air you'll be dead you did not set the air in motion did you did you set the sun in motion did you set the earth itself in motion and for us to be able to live here 
the elements, fire, water, earth, and air must come together and blend. Without they coming together, there will be no life. When we say life, this life is here and we came into it. So when we are born the first day, we breathed in that life force, which is a combination of the fire elements, water, earth, and air, and then we say, yes, we are alive. So we come to know, therefore, that the air that we are breathing is what? God. How can you hope to be an intelligent human being and do not know that the air which is giving you life, you are thinking that one is not intelligent? Good morning. We are intelligent walking on the earth and we want to think that the earth is inanimate, meaning it is dead. It is a non-living being. So we are living. When we were brought into a living world by a living world, then we believe we are living and the world that brought us to be living within its livingness, we believe that world is not living. Oh. Here's the word mystical. What truth can connect us directly to God. Now, I read two master books. One is called Nature. The other one is called Me. What are my textbooks? Nature and Me. These are the greatest books that anybody need to read. Anything else you read after Nature and Yourself is just a commentary. In African theology, we don't believe in God, therefore, and something. Because we see the air, we don't, ah, ah, ah. We, don't we depend on, on this. We did not create it. We did not set it in motion. It knows itself. It is God or an aspect of God. Right now, as we are sitting, the earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour to give us night and day. And without night and day, there will be no life. Do you know that? Yes. If it's all daytime, everything will burn. If it's all night, everything will freeze. And we need the seasons. We need summer followed by autumn, followed by winter, followed by spring. And to have that, to have the seasons, the earth must be going around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? 67,000 miles an hour. It is spinning right now at 1,000 miles an hour to give us night and day, and speeding at the same time. And it knows, the earth knows that if it keeps going the same way, some portions in the Arctic, the North and the South Pole, will not receive sun sunlight. So it dances to show North Pole to the Sun, then South Pole. Yes or no? Is the Earth therefore intelligent? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. So somebody say, I am an intelligent being in an intelligent world. I am an intelligent being. And I want you to wake up to that truth. Yes. yes. You are an intelligent being. And you are living in an intelligent world. To know this is enlightenment. To know this alone is enlightenment. Because once you know this, you always want to know what intelligent purposefulness is the overall life seeking to do or be through me. And that's me. And when we have forgotten, many teachers come to teach us to help us awaken to this truth. I say I read two master books Nature and me, because my name is Brother Ishmael Tete. I am a universal citizen. I come from Africa, and nature is my teacher. This is why our great master and teacher, Jesus, most of his parables, they are all based on nature. Parable of the fig tree, parable of the vineyard, they are all about what? Nature. That's why I can't say, I mean, no one can teach God to a child because God is evident in nature. You must see God. You must have direct communion with God. And now that we've forgotten, the first mystical truth presents itself saying that I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. Somebody say that. This simple truth carries within it the full power to free you from all of your human weaknesses lifts you into your full God power that you will be an expression of the glory of God on earth. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe does this. And for you to come to this truth, it must not be something you are saying. 
It can be a recitation. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. But since I am here by the collective power of the entire universe, the witches are now troubling me. Can that have been? No. no. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe means that the power of the universe is me. The power of the whole universe is me. The universe that we choose to call God. And do you know how vast the universe is? Do you have an idea how vast the universe is? Once again, if you've not watched that movie, Awesome God, I will encourage you to watch it. Please watch that movie, Awesome God. Now it's on our website, it's also free. You can just go and just click and watch it. Yes? But to make a brief summary, with all of the marvels we see on the earth, technology of human beings, birds, animals, fishes, water bodies, air, bo air life, life under the ground, and so on, with all of this marvel, the earth, compared to the solar system that contains it, the sun and the planets that contains it, the earth is like a drop of water in the whole ocean. Like a drop of water in the whole ocean. That's the size of the earth in the solar system. In the solar system, compared to the Milky Way galaxy, the group of stars you see in the night, our sun is one of the stars. This whole solar system that contains the earth, compared to the Milky Way galaxy that contains it, is like a molecule of water. I don't know how to put molecule in tree. Who can you say? Molecule? <laughs> the smallest part of a drop of water, a molecule. So the whole solar system. So when we say the universe, I am here by the collective power of the entire universe, know what we are talking about. In our Milky Way galaxy, do you know how vast it is? If you were to have a spaceship which can travel at the speed of 11 million, 160 miles a second. Good morning. You know what I'm talking about? A spacecraft that can travel at what speed? 11 million, 160 miles a second. It will take that spacecraft 100,000 years to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other end. How many years? 100 what? I don't hear, I don't hear. 100,000. Mm -hmm. So they will say 100,000. Hello? 100,000 years. And do you know how many of such galaxies there are in the universe? Some of them are about four times and ten times bigger than our galaxy. Some Brello galaxy is four times bigger than our Milky Way galaxy. And there are about 100 billion discovered galaxies so far discovered in the universe. And the power we choose to call God, the intelligence, is within all of this. Stop playing it small. You are here by the collective power of this entire universe. Start seeing yourself as a universe intended you to be. Every ripple you see is made up of several drops of water. And every drop of water is made up of billions of water molecules. So ask yourself, where do they all come from to become this ripple on the ocean? Trace the root of all the atoms and the and molecules drops of water that have become a river. Take a deep breath of that. And you will observe that some of the water drops came from the Atlantic Ocean. Some came from the Indian Ocean. The drop of water you are seeing at the beach in Accra, some of them came from the Pacific Ocean. Some came from the Indian Ocean. Some came from the Arctic Ocean. So you see the Antarctic Ocean, and they all travel these billions of miles to be here. It doesn't happen in one day, yes? The very cells of your body, do you know how far they travel to be here as cells in your body? Somebody look at your body. Somebody say, I love you. I bless you. Wherever you came from, I love you. I love you. For coming out of my body. 
the body you are wearing is a mystery. In the book of Revelation, it, it, it describes it as a, a casket with seven locks. And that's a whole mystery we can talk about. We need a, a whole day talking about this casket of seven locks. That you are, you are a being with seven power centers. Today, science has uh, proven that, yes, you have seven power centers along your spinal column. Yes? yes. They call it nerve centers. Mystics, we used to call it power centers through which energy flows to every part of the body. We know it before it became a scientific fact. So locate yourself at the ocean, and when you've traced all the drops of water that became the ripple you see, and then you notice that ripples are insignificant until they become waves, and waves are insignificant until they become a bigger wave. Now listen to me. You come into significance when you surrender yourself to the sole force of another. When we merge, when we stand today, surrender to the collective sole force known as Ethereum mission, now we are significant. This is why in your churches they will tell you to uh, pay tithes. You have to nourish what makes you significant. Hence the Bible says, bring it all to my storehouse and prove me. When you are just a ripple, you are not known. And when you merge into one another and become a wave, you cannot identify you from the other ripples that became the wave. Your significance and your power is increased. As you merge, you come into real form. What I'm sharing therefore is that we need to honor our families in which we are born. Because they are, they may become a ripple. That may be probably a ripple. Then from there, you flow your soul into some other greater energy field of light so that you come into significance. Your significance is realized only to the degree that the larger significance that contains you is enlarged. So you work for the enlargement of the wave, of the big wave. Am I making sense to somebody? Yes. Else you are insignificant. We are here to come into divine significance within this huge intelligent world. So a drop of water in the ocean is the entire ocean. Tell somebody. The drop of water can choose to remain an insignificant drop of water in the ocean. And some people are living that way. Insignificant. Their whole life is about them, themselves, alone. Alright? They can't think beyond themselves. In what way is the good that I am so good that it is influencing the good of humanity? We are here for that. You are here for the good that life is as you to influence the whole goodness of humanity. To the degree that the good you are positively impacts all of humanity, you, as an individual, you come into significance. Otherwise, you remain an insignificant drop of water in the ocean. So step one is to be by the ocean and observe it. Observe the mystical experience. Then come to the declaration. When you observe that every wave comes into being, by the collective power of the entire ocean, naturally, it breathes in your consciousness that then I too, I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. And I've already proven that to be so, yes? So now that you know I'm here by the collective power of the entire universe, it becomes a declaration. It is not an affirmation. Affirmations are the positive things you are saying, hoping they will happen. Declarations are the truth of life that you see and you step into, you merge into. And today, we have not only merged into, we have been initiated into it so that your every in-breath will connect you to the teacher teaching me. What you are hearing me say today, when you begin practicing, you hear the teacher teaching this to you and in many ways. I want your lips to be open. Now, when you come to, de to the declaration, I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. Can we declare it? I am here by the collective power of the entire 
at this stage, feel the truth. Something is real when it can be perceived by one or more of the senses. When you pass by, you can say a restaurant is nearby because of the aroma. Your nostrils will tell you. So I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. How do you smell? We stay in that place till you really capture your divine fragrance, your divine sound. You have a divine sound. Your divine taste. You have a divine taste. Your divine texture. Be there. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. And then smell, see, taste, smell, and touch. So you really know you. From this point, you may go to the third stage of soul cleansing. Soul cleansing. So yes or no, you are here by the collective power of the entire universe to live in anger. I didn't hear you. I tell you truthfully. If you live in anger, in hatred against one, Jesus said, when you did it against one of these, you have done it against who? Me. That was the meaning here. Here, by the collective power of the entire universe, to hate one soul, who also came from the collective power of the entire universe, to hate one soul, to dislike one person, is to dislike all. You are in hell. What is our vision? Can we say it with confidence? Yes, our vision is that of a unified world in which everyone is a catalyst for the activation and promotion of the innate good in one another. This is the only heaven there is. Ethereum mission. Ethereum mission. Ethereum. Ethereum mission. So when Jesus thought that when you do that negative to one, you've done it to me, he was teaching you this oneness. Come to this oneness. When you do it to the least, he said what? When you do it to even the least among them, you've done it to what? Me. You don't have to insult at a meal for, for your insult to be significant. Hello? The Bible says in the words of Jesus, Matthew 5, he says that when you say to your brother, Raka, you shall be in the judgment. This is serious. You know what Raka means? You know, somebody does something, and because the person has offended you, you before, you say, huh, it serves you well. That's what Raka means. It serves you well. You don't have to wish it ill on those who have even offended you. There are people in families who are same mother, same father, they are, but they are quarreling. I, I, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. Because when you hate your brother, you, any thought of evil you release against your brother, because you carry the same vibration, you are releasing it to punish you yourself. That one is too close. Don't do that one. Somebody say, don't do that one. Don't do it to your daughter. Don't do it to your son. Don't do it to your mother. That's why of all the commandments, there was, there's only one commandment that comes with a promise. Honor your father and your mother. That your days may be long. Because in honoring them, you are not doing them any favor. You are favoring yourself. Because whether you like it or not, you carry their genes. You carry their physical genes, their emotional, mental, and spiritual genes. So because your father did something to you 25,000 years ago, you are hating him or disliking him. You are reducing your own spiritual value. Take a deep breath on that. Then that takes you to step three. Where you now come to identify that. Here are my weaknesses. Yes, we have some human weaknesses. Tell somebody, we have some human weaknesses. But today they must end. You have some human weaknesses. And I promise you, they must end. Are you ready? So yes or no? You are here by the collective power of the entire universe to show your pride above every human being on the planet. I, I didn't hear you. So yes or no, you are here by the collective power of the entire universe to have lots of houses and cars to show off to everybody, yes? So you are here 
by the collective power of the entire universe to live in anger, hate, and resentment. Yes? No. I didn't hear you. No. Take a deep breath. What is all the times you lived in anger, hate, and fear? Observe those moments and make the clear statement. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. I am here. See that anger and say to the anger what? See the, the, the hurt you are feeling, the human hurt you are feeling. Feel the human hurt you are feeling. What do you tell that human hurt? And then your mind silently asks to feel this anger, to feel this hurt. See that jealousy you are harboring. Feel it. Feel the, the jealousy you are having. And tell that jealousy. What do you tell that jealousy? And I promise you today that by the power of this statement, all of your sins are forgiven. Amen. By the power of this statement, let this statement become the reference to every action, every thinking, every feeling. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe to see the faults of my wife, my husband, my spouse, and to go about and broadcast it. Yes? If you see error going on, you are not a spectator. The error occurred before you because life knows that you are here by the collective power of the entire universe to make it better, not to complain. Hello? The joy you find in life, celebrate. The wrong you find in life, correct. That is why you are here. You are here and what you are enjoying is because other people have made some corrections. You are enjoying the corrections other people made. And you must just correct others. Correct them without making them feel guilty. What did I say? When you go, when it is healing service, and you see them drinking beer and alcohol, you don't drink yours, and by you not drinking, they will see and be corrected. Am I right? Don't bother going to tell them that you are drinking beer and it is healing service. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Do you hear, hear me? When you tell them, they will feel guilty. Hello? But you just take a glass of water. And when you start drinking your glass of water, then you do... <laughs> Good morning. That's your correction. Take a deep breath on that. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe to live in guilt, in shame. Yes? When you were in class two, two times three, you said five. That was wrong, am I right? Yes. Now you are in class 17. And you are living in the guilt of, when I was in class two, I said two, two, two times three, five. Oh, then you live in the guilt and the shame of what you did in class two. Do you ever do that? If you don't do that, why must you live in shame for some error you have committed in your life? You murdered, you raped, you lied, and so what? Today, somebody say, I wipe all of them. I wipe all of them. Somebody say, that was them. I wipe all of them. I wipe my slate clean and begin anew. I choose a new life today. I choose a new life today. And so it is. Step into that new life now. And that takes you to step four. I am here by the collective power of the entire universe. You now start raising your God abilities. So yes or no, you are here by the collective power of the entire universe to be loving. Yes. Now, bring to mind the love that was in Jesus. The peace that was in Muhammad, peace be unto him. Bring these to mind. Notice all people who have exemplified love joy, peace, wisdom, bring them to, to mind. Look into their faces and say, I am here by the collective power of the entire universe to be greater. Yes or no, is that true? Yes. Jesus said, greater works than this you shall do. You shall be more loving than me. You shall be more loving. So you now, claim, you now raise your ability. Yes or no, you are here by the collective power of the entire universe to change the thinking of humanity and bring them to peace. Yes. yes or no? You are here 
by the collective power of the entire universe to bring heaven on earth. Yes or no? You are here by the collective power of the entire universe to be the mouthpiece of all of the ascended masters. Yes. Yes. Step three is the mystic marriage. In step three, you just allow your in-breath to connect you to the collective power of the entire universe. Power means love, joy, wisdom, money, health, creativity. You allow every in-breath to connect you and then your out breath, whatever it connects to, let it bring its vibration to your body temple. This body temple must have angels worshipping in it, yes? So let your in breath connect. So step three is the mystic marriage. Step four is the cleansing of the cards, handling life issues. Then step five is the abilities, raising your God abilities. I'm here by the collective power of the entire universe for something good. Step four is the clearing of your life, cleansing your, your life. I'm here by the collective power of the entire universe to be this angry person. Some even feel proud to say, as of me, I, uh, I'm quick-tempered. Oh. Yes or no? You are here by the collective power of the entire universe to be quick-tempered. So these five stages must be done it takes just about five minutes it's taking me so long a time to explain it but once you've done it now you take your card and then you make your declaration that is all it takes and your life tra transforms five minutes and this takes you just uh, two minutes and then you do your life declarations i presented the declarations as i dialogued with the beings of light and as i got it from them I put it there. Just the dialogue. Sometimes I make heaven lose sleep because I ask questions, so questions. And from the dialogue, this has come out. And that is the first mystical truth. Beloved, we come to the place where we know that we are here by the collective power of the entire universe. Yes or no? You are here by the collective power of the entire universe. Yes or no? You are here by the collective power of your ancestors. Yes, I'm here by the collective power of my ancestors. Right now, as we are here, some children are being born, some are yet to be born, and some are unborn. And you are here, the answer to the future's prayer. Yes? Yes. And you are here, the answer to life's dream for humanity. Yes? Yes. Somebody say, I am here. By the collective power of the entire universe. Oh, intelligent universe. Whatever your dream, whatever your desire for humanity, let it come to its completion through me now. I am the completion of cosmic dream for humanity. I am the completion. I step into that now. And so, and so I am. And so it is. And, so it is. and with this, I bless you with its power and fullness forever. Amen.